Hello, my dear friends. This is Jose from Sound of Life. Okay. Thank you for watching our videos. Today we are um, Highway 40, which just got off on Highway 27. And we're going to drive through rural oh, Tennessee, a few little towns. Um, we're between Knoxville and Chattanooga. Look up ahead. Yeah, mountains up there. Mm -hmm. Sure is pretty. So right now we're in uh, Emory Gap, kind of. Mm -hmm. And uh, this real nice town called Harry, man. Mm -hmm. We should have gone there. It looks pretty cool. But Highway 27, That's stop that. Stop that. Just drive the way I tell you, boy. You got a real hearing impairment down there, boy. So we're on 27. And we're going to drive through a few towns. So I was going to know what they were, but Kate decided to close the app on me. Because she's the almighty driver who knows the whole... You tell me what's ahead, Katie, since you closed the app. What towns are ahead? No idea. So why do you close the app on me? You, you have to give it a No, no, you closed... If, if, I'm, if I'm messing with the map, and you, and you closed it, so since you closed the map, you, you, you closed the app for me, where are we going? Do you know? No, because you closed it, right? Why are you doing this? Doing what? Who closed the app? <laughs> The app is open in front of you. Who dismissed it? Me or you? You dismissed it. No, I you added... did. So I'm gonna guess since you since you must with it that you know where we're going. Where we're we going? Where we're we going? Jacks. What time? What what times are up ahead? No idea. Oh, you don't have no idea. So maybe you should listen to me since I get the map. Okay. Stubborn little. We're entering the first town we're gonna drive to is called Rockwood. And then there's uh, close to Eagle Point. Then there's uh, the towns over here. Rockwood will be the first town we're gonna go through. We're almost to the city limits there. We're gonna go right through town on Rockwood. I'm not even gonna put it on here. I'm just, I'm just gonna make you wonder now. Just like OCD about having to have the map on or not. You're going to be on this road for hours. You're so. not helping my disability. What disability? Your mental impairment? I'm not, I'm not a psychologist. I'm a passenger. <laughs> Do you repent for your bad behavior? Yes. I'm still not gonna put a map on for you. That I hate you. I don't care if you hate me. You hate me all you want to. And you're gonna learn the hard way or the hard way. And the answer's always yes. <laughs> like Fleece Johnson type of movie. Like the answer's always yes. We can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way, but they ain't gonna go with this. <laughs> Fleece Johnson on you. And the answer is always yes. Flowers furniture. There's some mountain towns here. Beautiful mountain ranges. Harbor French, just about everything in that plaza is close. Oh, it's 441. The good folks have we close at five, but the good folks have to be out of here by 445. I never got that. Maybe there's a day where you're done at 450. I hated, I hated working for other people. Uh -huh. There's days where I was done at 450. I had to stick around for 10 minutes doing nothing. That's like, uh -huh. you know, the stupidity and bureaucracy of working for somebody else. I know. You're done at 455. Close the door and leave. No, I gotta stay. I gotta stay here exactly till five. Or it, if you're working somewhere, you. Because somebody else didn't show up for their shift, you're now responsible for their shift. Mm -hmm. Or they're like, oh, you have to stay until your replacement shows up. No, I got something to do. I don't, own, I don't own this place. And you know, like, you think it's bad now? You should, you should see when, you know, like, I'm not even doing this. 
people aren't gonna like what I gotta say. Yeah. People just aren't gonna like what I gotta say. Yeah. It's not my fault they didn't show up. I got a life out of here. Yeah. You know, like, I would work at places where, like, I could have been more. Mm hmm. It's just, I don't wanna get into it. I'm glad I'm self employed. I don't need to yeah. deal with somebody else lording it over me needlessly. I'm not gonna get into it because nobody's gonna like what I It's the truth, it's how I feel, but. Sometimes the way you feel ain't the way other people want to hear. If you're working at a place and then you're done at 450 and you know that's I'm done. Clock out, leave. No, you gotta stay here 10 minutes, wasting 10 minutes of your life, staring at a freaking clock because the boss wouldn't like you if you left at 458. It's like the dumbest. Like I said, I'm glad I work for myself and not for somebody else. There's one place where I just left out the back so I didn't have to go to the front and talk to the manager. Yeah. Man. And then you got the person who was just an employee. I was like, I don't care. Just an employee, but then they act like they own the place. <laughs> you don't own this company. I told one person, they were just acting so brown nose, they'd be like, how's that brown on your nose, lady? <laughs> oh. <laughs> how's that nose? Richmond, Tennessee. Uh, am, I, am I in the wrong Richmond? Oh, this is Rockwood. I'm, my bad, dog. Rockwood. I was trying to figure out what you're doing. Rockwood. Rockwood, Tennessee, dog. Oh, it's been like 40. Are you kidding me? This is like a major highway. Why is it 40? You're driving to a town, big town. Oh. 5,500 people. It's a huge town. There's 5,000 people. It's the boundary of the eastern and central time zone. Okay, so you can be in two time zones right now. Yeah, buddy. Demographics. It's been losing population in the 30s, 70s, the 90s, the 10s, and the 20s. By 2023, though, it grew a little bit. So finally, after 20 years of population loss, it finally bounced back a little bit. Um, but the population has remained about the same since the 1960s. So this is a place that since the 1960s, the population hasn't changed dramatically. It's gone up, it's gone down, ups and downs. But overall, this is a town that since the 1960s has not seen growth. This town has just been... A stagnito, a stagnation. This has been growing, it's been stagnant. Which means that probably the people that are, nobody moves here, the people that are from here move out. Three percent Hispanic, which is probably the population growth. 86% white. It's all mostly white. Which is normal for Eastern Tennessee. You got a Hardee's with the Arties down there. Got a Hardy with the Arties with the Tardy tobacco shops down there. The Tennessee Ben Squad trucks too. Just the Carolinas did. What a horrible thing to do. Why does it matter if your if your truck squad? That's just wrong. It was a good thing we had going for a while. Yeah. Rock wood, not rich wood. Rock wood. Go you know, women. What's up with women in Tennessee dyeing their hair strange colors? And now they color coded. The different colors mean different things. 
So Rockwood Street is our downtown. It's right here. You'll take a right out the next line and right through their downtown. This is it right here. See their downtown with the town town down there. There's the money truck. I, you know what, man? You, finally, I can get that money truck I was looking for. Can you imagine? The price of gas is NC. Soda, fountain, live and let live drugstore. 1800s. Well, how much gas you got so far? We're actually gonna have to see get, get gas one of these little times. Mm -hmm. Katie's had a really bad attitude for like the last two days. She's just like set on we're going home. She doesn't want to look at towns. She doesn't want to do anything. She just wants to go home. And I'm over here hanging out with some homeless people, trying to have a good time. <laughs> hanging out with some homeless people in Knoxville. Well, go figure. You think with a backdrop like that, people want to move here, huh? Right? It's nice. Slow down. It's just Slow like what down. people would want, like, small town to be like. Dang. But go figure, nobody's moved here. Mm-hmm. Nobody's moved here. Since the, since the 60s, the population's been stagnant. This looks like the type of town, that, you know, with this mountain backdrop, wouldn't this be the type of place people want to hang out? This looks like the type of town where somebody would want to film a TV show. I know, right? You know, backdrop. But look, it's empty. What they the Wednesday? And it looks like it's decaying too. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 uh it's been stagnant. Mm -hmm. Looks like with Tomka. Mm -hmm. You'd you think with that mountain backdrop, people would want to be here. The weird side of Rockwood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Coca Cola down there. I saw it. I seen it. You can pull a, a turn anywhere really and get us back on that main road. Okay. If you blink, you might miss it. That's it. You saw it. Mm -hmm. Take a, a right here. Right? Yeah, throw around the block in circles. Okay. And then uh, get us back on that main road. <laughs> if you blink, you might miss it. If you fart, you might kiss it. Take a right. Looks like they had some hurricane destruction here. Oh yeah. Go right here. Trust me. Trust me, doll. Trust me, doll. Trust me, doll. Trust me, doll. You can take a left if you want, or you can keep going whatever way you want. I'll do a left. I think the whole town is weird to me. It's just not, I know just one setting on the whole town out there. I think a bunch of pods and population too, man. Is that an earthquake? Nope. Fire. So, keep going. There's a beautiful lake around here, Billy Dean Cove. It's a swimming lake. Okay, down here. If this light's on a sensor, you're never gonna get out of here. You're gonna just try to, like, just there you go. That's good. I don't think it's, nah, it's too old to be on a sensor. It's on time. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I figured the big T road. I figured it's time. It's sad to see a town like this, you know? Like, it could be a town. But we talked to the locals here in, uh, in Eastern Tennessee, and they're telling us, well, we don't want folks out here to come here and change things. We laugh things the way they are. Well, Keep your town the way it is or since the 1960s. I guess if you're one of those people that doesn't like change, you could just move to this town. It has to change one business. So you want to be like the Amish with no, no, uh, yeah, no, oh, you could just move here. No electricity. If you like to, if you, if you want to know what life was like in the 1960s, no internet. Just, you hear those people like, I used to like things in the 60s. I'm like, we just move here. 
It ain't changed one bit since the 1960s. This thing on just 1960 down there. Mm -hmm. you know what? I get gas, but you can't see what the price is. That's not gonna uh, work. Oh, wait. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's gonna be something down the road. Like, things were great in the sixties. I'll move to this town. How much? Things have not changed here for the top market. If you like how things were in the sixties, just move here. Mm -hmm. It ain't changed one bit. Yeah, that's a 1906 Dodge Ram right there. You know what's sad about these towns in the mountains? Mm -hmm. You can move up a little bit. You know you can turn on right and nobody's coming, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know why you're sitting here like an idiot. Yeah, you're right. Like an idiot. Like an idiot. I'm not calling you an idiot. I'm saying you're like one. Ah! I'm not saying you are an idiot. I'm saying like you're similar to ah! you know, like, like I can see the resemblance in an, of an idiot in you. Ah! That's right. I'm not calling you an idiot. That'd be wrong. I'm just saying like there's some resemblances. You know what I'm saying? Look at the train, baby. Ow! Why was the GoPro's been on for hours, really? Why? I didn't turn it off. Hopefully it wasn't like filming. No, it wasn't. That was random. Random. Look at the houses, they're all like identical. Yeah. I'll take care of that. So I killed the battery. I got more batteries. <sighs> So now when we interview somebody like, things were great in the sixties. I'm like, what's this Brockwood, Tennessee down there, man? It's just like this is making a butterfly right there. Mm -hmm. Well, you're gonna start scanning. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. We're entering the part of the country where you're gonna see it. Budget motel wants to record? No. <laughs> Just like, uh, no. I'll let them know you're from Michigan instead of now. And I'll let them know where you're from. Uh, do you a disservice? You do me and eat, you, you know, bad. Yeah. And after tonight down there, I tell you what. Oh, yeah. Old fire truck down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want to see people's face. I never got the point of parking a vehicle letting the weed swallow it. I feel like if you're hoarding a vehicle, you should do something with it. Part it out. What's the point of letting it sit there and rot? I never got hoarders. Gorgeous countryside. I guess the locals don't. There's just like a crash semi there on the side of the road. Oh, it's a junkyard town. That's pretty cool. But you couldn't do that in Florida because people would come steal stuff off the side of the road. Things you can do in Tennessee that you can't do in Florida. Wow, that is a giant scrapyard on the side of the road there. It's like there's just cars, but they're all buried. Like, why, why let them get buried like that? Now they're useless. Never got that about people in the South. Alright guys, that's Rockwood Tennessee, Mike. Check it out.